Good morning everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel Leaf Classes. I am Manjali. Children, today I am here with the solutions video of session 6 and the topic is mathematical library methods. In today's end screen you will get the two video links which are based on library functions only. And now we will do one by one all the questions. So just bring your practice notebook where you have solved and please tell your answers with mine wherever it is wrong. Please correct that and understand the things okay and wherever the correction is required please do the required correction and prepare well for your exams so let us begin the first question is give the output of the following children here one thing i want to tell you that if in the question it is written give the output then just you have to write the output in the answer you don't have to show the solving steps right so solving steps you can do uh, in the side or uh, there only but the final output should be displayed properly and whenever the output questions are there please do take care of uppercase and lowercase characters also before we proceed i want to tell you about a new feature launched by unacademy yes children this is ask a doubt feature where you can ask unlimited doubts at any time and get high quality video solutions by top educators. Children, I am sure all of you have lots of doubts when it comes to solving maths and science problems, right? So now how to ask a doubt? Open the Unacademy Android app and click on ask a doubt. Take a picture of the question or choose one from your gallery. Please note handwritten questions are not allowed. Crop the picture to one specific question. Select your subject and that's it. This feature would help you to ace your preparations for your final exams and especially to get the solutions to important questions in a structured way during the final lap of your course preparation. This feature is now open for all, free users and plus users. So all you need to do is fire up the Unacademy app and ask your doubt. So learners, take this opportunity to solve your doubts with our top educators instantly. Stay blessed. So the first question is double A equals to 5.2 and B equals to 2.5 system.out.println Here one more thing you have to take care of that the print statements are written using println or print statement, right? So if println is used after displaying the present output, it will shift the cursor to the next line and if print is there, the cursor will remain in the same line. So here math.floor math.min a comma b children always we solve the innermost bracket first and then we go for the outer one. So first this will be solved math.min a comma b 5.2 comma 2.5 min function returns the minimum of 2. So in these 2.5 is the return value. So 2.5 will be there and this will be applied to math.floor function math.floor function returns the nearest lowest integer in double type. Floor, floor means downwards, right? So it returns the nearest lowest integer, but the return type is double. So if we take 2.5, here we have 2.0 and 3.0, two nearest integers are there. So math.floor function will return you 2.0. So the output of the first statement is 2.0. The second function is math.max a comma b. 5.2 and 2.5 which is the maximum value. 5.2 is the maximum of these two. And seal function gives the nearest highest integer but in double form. So seal, ceiling fan. You can understand like that, right? Seal means up, floor means down. So nearest highest is seal. So for this we have 5.0 and 6.0. So the answer will be 6.0. I hope this is very clear and all of you must have done it correctly. 
The second part is double x equals to minus 12.9 and double y equals to math dot rint math dot abs. First, this bracket will be solved. ABS function returns the absolute value that means without any sign. So minus 12.9, absolute of minus 12.9 will be 12.9 and you have RINT. Math dot RINT function gives the nearest integer of the number in double time, right? If the fractional part of the number is from 0 0.0 to 0 0.5, then the same integer value of the number is returned. Otherwise, uh, the next value is returned. So for 12.9, the nearest integer is 13 and the double type value will be 13.0. So in y what will be stored 13.0 and the print statement says within double quotes y equals to. So the output will be y equals to 13.0. Please don't write only 13.0 if it is something is given in the double quotes also. You have to take care of that and then only the answer will be written. So when such type of questions are asked for the output base, always write only the output. This portion you can do uh, in the side of the page or here also if you want you can do but please mark the answer correctly, right? Question number two says what the following function will return when executed and four parts are there. The first part is math.abs 9.8. We know that abs function returns only the absolute value, only the magnitude of the number without any sign. So the answer will be 9.8. Even if it is minus 9.8, then also the answer will be 9.8. The next is math.sqrt of math.floor of 16.6. .6. So here two functions are there. First the inner bracket will be solved. So math.floor 16.6. 16.6 .6, we have two integers 16.0 and 17.0 it returns the nearest lowest integer in double form for 16.6 .6, the nearest integer is 16.0 and math.sqrt of 16.0 will be 4.0 sqrt function also returns the answer in double type so the answer of this will be 4.0 the next function is math.round. This function returns the value in rounded of form and for the negative number. In the fractional part, if it is from 0 to 0.5, both inclusive, then the same integer value is returned, otherwise the next integer value is returned. So the answer will be minus 16. 0.21 is within the range from 0 to 0.5, so the same integer value will be returned right next is math dot cbrt cbrt function also returns the double type value and it stands for cube root we know that the cube root of 27.0 is 3.0 3 into 3 into 3 is 27 so the answer will be 3.0 children hurry up please match your answers 9.8 4.0 minus 16 and 3.0 i hope all the answers of this question are also correct in your practice notebook. Question number 3 says give the return type of the following functions. Children, few functions are written here. Please do prepare for all the functions which are there in your syllabus. Now first function is math.sqrt. This returns double type. Children, the common mistake is that children they write double like this. So this is not our data type. Always you have to take care of the uppercase and lowercase characters whenever you are writing any data type. So, and most of the function returns double type only. Most of the mathematical functions return double type value. So math.sqrt returns double, cbrt function also returns double, seal function returns double, floor function returns double, log function returns double math.random functions return int type. Here also children they write integer, integer or int like this. So all these are wrong. Please write int, data type is int, right? Then math.max and math.min. 
the return data type of these two function depends upon the argument type. If you give integer arguments, it will return int. If you will give double type arguments, it will return double type. So here you can write depends upon the argument types. I hope this answer is also clear to all of you. Question number four says to give the difference between math.seal and math.floor function. Children, you can prepare the differences like this for other functions also. So here the first difference you can write for which purpose that function is used. And the second difference can be always the example. If the question says give two point of differences, then writing two points is must. But if the question says give difference, then it is totally up to you. You can give one difference or two differences. So here math.seal function in previous questions also I told you for which purpose it is used. It returns the nearest highest integer for the given argument in double type. So always you should write the type, the return type of the function. And math.floor, it returns the nearest lowest integer for the given argument in double type. So if the question is asked, give the similarity. Both are used to return the double type value that also can be written as a similarity. Then the example, math.seal 16.6 will return in 17.0 and math.floor 16.6 will return in 16.0. Let me explain you this if it is 16.6. Near to this, the two integers are 16 and 17. So this will be for floor and this will be for seal. And since the return type is double, so answer will be 16.0 and it will be 17.0. Uh, the seal and floor functions are always asked in output based questions also. So please prepare them properly. Second part of question number four is to differentiate between RINT and round functions. Here I have written three differences. You can write according to the question. First is it gives the nearest integer for a given argument. RINT by the name also you can make out. It gives the nearest integer value but the return type is always double, right? And in math.round it returns the value in rounded of form. And the return type of round function is always int. Example, rint of 9.89 will give you the answer in 10.0. And round function for the same value that is 9.89, it will return 10. So one difference can be always like this. The return value is int and the return value is double. So just learn the return data types for all the function that will help you in doing the differences as well. Question number five is to write the syntax for the following and the statements are given in the question. Now what many children do they write many statements for performing the given task. Children try to minimize the number of statements if possible just write one statement. Like the first part is to display the square root of the number n. So just write one statement for this Display means you have to use print statement. So we can write like this system dot out dot print or println both are correct, right? Square root of the given number n. For finding the square root, we need math.sqrt function and the number is also mentioned in the question n. So that's it, how you will be doing it. Don't input the number and then find the square root value and then display that. Just try to write if possible in one statement only. Right? I hope it is clear. The second is to display the bigger number of the given two numbers A and B. Again here display statement is there. So that means we will be using print statements, the output statement for doing this and math.max function is used for finding the bigger of the two numbers. Please don't use here if A is greater than B, print A, else print B. You have to write the syntax. Please write in one sentence only. The third is to give the rounded of value of the given number A. Again, you can use print statement system dot out dot print or print ln. Then math dot round of A. Always whenever you are writing like this, 
please take care of opening and closing brackets that should match if two opening brackets are there two closing brackets should be also there the next part is to display the random number between 0 and 1 children we know random function is used to give the random value between 0 and 1 only so here you can directly use system.out.println and math.random we never give any argument with random function random function generates the random number between 0 and 1 only fifth part of this question says to give the random number in integer form between 1 and 10 children here i have written the formula please note it down if you want to find the random number between 1 and n it n can be 5 10 15 whichever number is given the formula is math.random into n plus 1 and if you want the integer part of that then obviously we will be doing type casting and here you can put int within the bracket so for the number between 1 and 10 we will write the print statement int of math.random into 10 plus 1 right like this you will be doing please pay attention that random function is not taking any argument Always whenever we have to find the random number apart from the number between 0 and 1, we have to use some mathematical calculation only. And the last part of this question says give the random number in integer form between 10 and 20. For that children the formula is int if we want an integer type. Math.random into n minus m plus n where m is the lower limit and n is the upper limit so you can see from 10 to 20 20 to 50 50 to 100 whatever range is given you can put the values of n and m according to that so as per the question you have to find the integer random number between 10 and 20 so you will be giving the formula int of math dot random into 20 minus 10 20 is the upper limit and 10 is the lower limit plus lower limit. So children please note down these two formulas. These will be very helpful in solving random number questions. I hope all of you must have done all the answers correctly and your answers are matching with mine answers. And all the best for your preparation. If you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you get the notifications for all the videos. And no important topic is missed by you. You can join us on our Telegram channel also. The link is given in the description box. Keep practicing, keep working hard, keep solving the questions. God bless you children.